Hi there, welcome back to the Dutch RC channel and today I'll do a short uh, recap on this uh, Predator 650 frame by Hobby King. Uh, now as you can uh, already see I have a uh, helicopter canopy on it and a helicopter tail. Those are just for uh, visibility and because I like to have my products look a little different. Um, well, more more or less uh, just some uh, personalization. Um, as you can see I have got a um, Hobby King Megapilot 2.7 uh, flight controller on it. Uh, I have Afro 30 amp speed controllers on them. And I have prop drives, 800 kV motors on them and 12 by 6 propellers. Now, um, uh, I, I, I really like uh, flying uh, this quad, but that says more about uh, the motors and uh, my flight controller, I think. These uh, motors, uh, maybe I'll do a separate video on those, uh, I cannot really recommend. These are the prop drive 2830 short shaft versions, 800 kV, and the bearings on them are uh, not very good. So I'll be replacing them uh, shortly. Okay, but about the frame. Now, uh, this frame uh, looks uh, almost entirely carbon fiber, apart from the metal uh, aluminum uh, motor mounts. But it's not uh, really carbon fiber. It's uh, a sandwich of uh, a top and bottom uh, plate of uh, carbon fiber and glass fiber in between. Now, is that a bad thing? Uh, of course it makes the quad a little heavier and it makes it, um, well, in theory um, less durable, but it also makes it uh, more affordable. So, well, it's uh, really a choice of the, the buyer if uh, that's uh, a good uh, in-between of those. For me, I, I like it. Uh, there's uh, no or very little flex in the frame. While flying it I can, can't detect any flex uh, on it, so very good. Now the landing legs, I hope you can see this, but there is some flex in it and of course that is a good thing uh, in your uh, rough landings. You know uh, you'll, you'll have those. I've had uh, some, of, uh, some of my own. Um, I've had about 50-60 flights on this frame and I've unintentionally and intentionally made some uh, rough landings. And everything has held up uh, great so far, so um, I'm happy with that. Now, um, well, what more can I say about this frame? Um, one thing I didn't really like is the camera mount here. You can o only put a, 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 for instance, a Mobius on the bottom and it'll be upside down. Uh, I would have liked a more spacious uh, camera uh, mount. Other than that, uh, the frame has uh, lots of uh, uh, places you can put your electronics on. Uh, I don't fly FPV myself, but there's more than enough room for your FPV gear on this uh, frame. And um, yes, I've done another modification. You might have noticed that I've put rubber pads on the landing feet, and I can highly recommend that. Um, I always land on the concrete and um, I'm pretty sure that uh, after a few flights those carbon fiber, glass fiber legs will split up. So if you get this frame, do something uh, similar. Um, well, this, uh, what more can I tell you about this frame? Yeah, it's foldable of course and the friction of the mounts is still very good. I've uh, clipped it on, clipped it off uh, tens of uh, times now and uh, it feel, still feels good. Now 
this uh, rubber plastic mounting also serves the, pur uh, the purpose of uh, dampening uh, a, a little of course and that's good so can I recommend this frame um, and to whom well um, Yes, I would re definitely recommend the display uh, frame. It's not super expensive, uh, goes together well, everything fits uh, just fine. Uh, as you can see, you can uh, run your uh, motor wires nicely uh, through the, the arms, so it looks uh, rather neat. And it's uh, been durable for me. I haven't uh, crashed it and I don't uh, plan on doing that, but uh, so far it's very durable. So, hope that was informational to you. Bye bye.